What's up, y'all? It's your boy JTMM, AK, just 10 more minutes, AK, the freaking 10, back here on Monday, ready to go. Now, I have to apologize for not posting on Friday and not getting them out Saturday like I hoped to, um, and not really being able to give an update. We had internet problems um, to where, you know, basically I've got fiber cable uh, that was just installed last year. Um, and then the boxes in my neighbor's backyard, apparently it got wet and that's what I was told. So we finally got it back. It's running perfectly fine now. So we're back up and running full gear now getting back to the music. So, um, I've kind of gone and I've said this in a couple of videos where I've now started looking at the, uh, history videos first and then seeing and then going and hitting the song based on, you know, does the history video thumbnail catch my eye, you know, the story it's trying to tell, etc. And it's working really well for me. I really like doing that. Um, I also saw the lady in the dark. I think it was the title of it. I saw they posted that history. So I'll probably do that one. Um, maybe I'll do another video on that Wednesday and Thursday. I don't know. Because I want to cover that history because that was awesome. Anyway, Last Dying Breath. Now, I think I saw this was the Battle of Belgrade um, from World War One. Past couple of songs I've really struggled with connecting with. They've been good, but they haven't just grabbed me and go, okay, Sabaton, here we are. So I, I'm interested to see if that's the case with this one or does it grab me from the get-go. There's only one way to find out. Let's check it out. Oh, a little offbeat. So here's what I, I like is is there's just a different sound to this than the past couple, not just from, you know, bagpipe versus this or anything like that. It's just more there's a classic Sabaton feeling to it. War begun, the Kaiser has come. Day or night, the shells keep falling. Overrun, but never outdone. Street to street, denying defeat. So this is one where, again, they've gone from doing the rhymes of last words to within the actual verse it's uh, within the actual line itself so war begun kaiser has come night the shells keep falling overrun but never outdone street to street denying defeat i like that i like the one uh, day or night the shells keep falling that's the one that That's just a cool line. And I know it's a simple line and you're like, oh, wait, but it is in the sense of war begun. The Kaiser has come day or night. You know, you're like, OK, what is it going to be? And then it's, the shells keep falling. I don't know. There's something about that line I really like. Soldiers of the Serbian army, keep your heads held high. Overrun, you fall one by one for Belgrade and the fatherland. Soldiers, heroes, die for your land. Your lives are gone, erased by your command until your last dying breath. That's powerful. You fall one by one for Belgrade. Wow. It's going to be one where I want to I want to see the history on it because that's just. It's kind of powerful. 
Let's finish it. So that's one where I like the song, but again, it's not <clears throat> grabbing me. Like, the music is good. The lyrics are good. But it just doesn't grab my overall attention like some of them. Like, <clears throat> like I'm still dying to see the history, right? I mean, the history has now kind of become my favorite part of it. Not in the sense of not liking the songs, but it's just that information that Indy gives and that the band gives with those little stories behind the songs that just make them that much bigger. You know, it's funny because I what I like about the song, it, the drums are what throw me off on this one. <clears throat> the drums seem very... in your face on some of the parts and it was the tempo of the drums that was throwing me off um at times they seem rushed now again i'm not a drummer that uh, it wasn't a bad song but it was just the drums were weird on that one now what i do like is when he does the until your last dying breath it brought back memories of twisted sister with burn in hell because it was, you're going to burn in hell, and then they did, you're going to burn in, and then, and then they held the note, right? And that's exactly what that reminded me of. And then being a fan of Twisted Sister, you know, Tommy doing uh, that a couple of times, I would imagine, you know, they've heard that song many a times. Um, <clears throat> but that's what it, it reminded me of. I like that they kept the line of day or night, the shells kept falling. And they went from keep falling to kept falling, which it's a small little thing. But when you're telling a story and going from a present tense to a past tense, those just add dimensions to it. Overrun, you're under the gun. Day or night, the shells kept falling. Sound the drum. The great war has come. Show no fear. The ending is near. A final charge to face the fire, falling one by one. Major calls, the white city falls. Belgrade streets are stained by blood. Soldiers, heroes, die for your land. Your lives are gone, erased by your command. Until your last dying breath. And then they repeat the... The until your last dying breath. In haste, our lives are erased. For, 
forward the glory, or excuse me, forward to glory for king and country. And then uh, forward to glory to face your fate at last. And then uh, they repeat the a couple of things. I like the guitars. I like the melody. I love the vocals. I, I really like it. <clears throat> There's these songs like this that when he is able to really put the power out that I really, really like it. Um, I don't mind ones where it's kind of just a lower monotone type of singing. <clears throat> but when he really, <clears throat> excuse me, when he really puts that power behind it and you get that grit at the higher octaves, <clears throat> I absolutely love it. The history is what gets me on this one because we're talking about World War One. We're talking about Belgrade. And overrun, you're under the gun, day or night, the shells kept falling. But it's the line of your lives are gone, erased by your command. And is that the leadership command? Is it the command of the Kaiser? What is it that they're talking about with the your last or, or um, erased with by your command? That's the part that gets me on this one that I want to find out tomorrow. Oh, overall, a, a good song, not my favorite, um, but it does have that classic Sabaton feeling. Um, Yeah, what it, that line. So there's two lines. The day or night, the shells keep falling. And then your lives are gone, erased by your command. I really want to know the story behind that. Because that just seems like, okay, did their command give up and just send them out to die? Or was it Kaiser command just being too powerful? What was it, the, the your command? Nope. Oh. We'll find out tomorrow. That's going to do it for this one. Interesting video or interesting song. I'm sitting here replaying it in my mind. And that's why you kind of get some of those pauses is it, bouncing back and forth because I go to, I really like it. Okay. It's like, okay, it's, it's okay to, uh, but I think overall I like it. It's just the drum beat. If you, it, it drums just seemed over the top is not the right word, but it's more a very forward in the song um, instead of accompanying. I think that's where it kind of gets me. I could be way off track, but that that's the feeling I get. But I definitely still want to check out the history. It's still a good song. Their lyrics are always good to get you inspired to check out the history um, or to understand more about it if you don't. But yeah, tell me if I'm wrong on the on the drum part, if they were just too forward and not more of the background accompanying. Let me know what you think. That's going to do it for this one. See you on the history tomorrow. Y'all know who I am and what I'm about. I'm JTMM. Like, subscribe, and share. I'm out.